Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Welcome to our Sabbath morning mana. I'm so happy that you're tuning in with us. Um, this is the Orlando Filipino Estate Church and uh, we are so happy that you're with us. Um, I invite you to please pray with me. Father in heaven, Lord God, thank you so much for this beautiful Sabbath morning you've given to us, O oh Lord. As we meditate upon your word, give us the blessing of understanding and wisdom. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so today we'll be going to Acts, Acts chapter, um, chapter 5, Lying to the Holy Spirit. This is the story of Ananias and Sapphira, or Sapphira. This couple actually sold a position and they promised to God that they will give um, the proceeds of these to the ministry. But however, they lied before God. You know exactly what happened when Ananias came in to Peter. Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the price of the land for yourself? Why is it that, was it not on your own, he said. And after it was sold, was it not on your own control? Why you conceive this thing in your heart? Why you lied to men and also to God? You're not lying only to men, but also to God. So it's interesting to take note of this, that God really means it. So when we make promises to God, we need to be serious about it. We need to think about it because God sees our hearts and our minds. And we cannot lie before God. And this is what happened to Ananias and Sapphira. They thought that they can actually, you know, hide something from what they have. It was sold at a high price. And you know, I don't know, at that time, maybe there was no bank yet. But when you see, and physically, you see that big bulk of money, you might be, hmm, you know what? It was just a joke, Lord. <laughs> I'm going to get a little bit of this. But you see, God mean, mean it so well. And you know what happened at that time when Peter um, rebuked Ananias? He died right there on the spot, fell down and breathed his last. So there was a great fear came upon all those that heard what happened. And of course, the young men carried his dead body and buried him. And three hours after that, uh, the wife came in without knowing what happened exactly. They found it in Acts chapter 5 verse 7. And the same thing Peter um, said to her. Tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, yes, for so much. Then Peter said to her, how is it that you are agreed together? She's referring about the husband. Together to test the spirit of the Lord. Look, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out. And immediately, imagine that immediately, she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. And the young man came in and found her dead and carrying her out, buried her by with her husband. So great fear came upon all the church and upon all who hear these things. And on verses 12 to 16 here, after that, there's a continuing power in the church wherein many people were sick. And they put, because there's a lot of them, they've been put just that by the street. And uh, they have this in their hearts that at least the shadow of Peter passing by might fall on some of them and they will be healed. Imagine that. People that have stroke, heart attacks, whatever that happened or whatever the case may be, the illnesses that they have, they went there hoping, praying that Peter and his disciples will heal them. So you know what happened with Jesus Christ? Even, Lord, even just a touch of your garment, I know I will be healed. So the same thing also happened in this uh, situation right here with Peter and the disciples, the rest of the disciples. The people are hungering, thirsting, not just the spiritual part, but also their physical healing as well. Praise be to God. And this is really good to think about because um, at this very moment, the last day events, God will fulfill His promise. The Holy Spirit will be given full blast, 100%. And there will be power like this. 
um, in in Matthew, uh, Luke, in fact, Luke 21, I believe, speaks about the end time crisis when there's rumors of war and there will be a time that you'll be in prison. And God said, He promised that don't be don't be afraid, don't worry because I will be there for you. The Holy Spirit will give you understanding, wisdom, what to do, what to say. And the same thing also will happen here. There is power when the Holy Spirit will fill us up and will not be afraid, will not be scared. The full blast, 100%, all God, the glory and honor and the blessing of healing, speaking and all the talents has given to each one of us will be given full blast because the Holy Spirit will lead us. But looking back again, the story of Ananias and Sapphira here, or Sapphira, um, we cannot lie, God. We truly cannot lie before him. He knew exactly what's in our hearts and our minds. At that time, I'm trying to understand why is it that, um, you know, I mean, only God knew exactly what's in, what, what, what was in their hearts. But, you know, we know that God is a forgiving God. God is that we know of is a God of chances. But that instance is quite different because in an instant, they were not given, I mean, Sapphira given the chance like three hours, but you know, she never changed either. Both of them died. So only God knew why it happened, but that event somehow has um, the the church members and the people who hear it put fear with everything fear because like reverence that truly our God is powerful he means business he means what he say so when we make promises first off we should be very careful what we promise before God second we need to be um, be loving, share what we have to others for those who are in need. Be true of what we stand for. A true religion of those who help the oppressed, the widow, and who have the desire to help others. That is the true religion. And the third thing is that the Holy Spirit will be given full blast for each one of us, for those who believe, and He will in due time. So may the Lord God bless you as my um, uh, colleagues here, my, uh, my team will share their testimonies and experiences. May we all be blessed. God bless you.